In this video, we will be learning about IncoTerms. IncoTerms is an abbreviation for International Commercial Terms. It is a contract that defines the responsibilities of sellers and buyers in international trading for the sale or purchase of goods. Businesses all over the world have adopted IncoTerms as a standard method of transacting. There is a total of 11 IncoTerms, and we will have a glance at each of those. When using XWorks, the seller has the least amount of liability. The seller is responsible for delivering the commodities to the buyer at the seller's premises, or any other agreed location. From that point on, the buyer is solely responsible for the transaction and bears all risks. When using XWorks, the buyer is responsible for paying for the shipping, importing the items, organizing transportation, and purchasing insurance. FCA refers to multimodal transportation needs, such as container or trailers, trucks, ships, and ferries. When the items transfer to the carrier's custody at a designated location, the seller has fulfilled their responsibilities. When using FCA, the delivery point is either the seller's premises or another agreed location. The buyer is liable for the expenses of transporting and importing them. When using FAS, the buyer arranges the primary carrier, and the buyer also takes the responsibility as the shipper. Once items dock the ship, the seller delivers the shipment to the buyer, and the risk transfers from the seller to the buyer. Following this point, the buyer is solely liable for all insurance expenses. FOB refers to the seller, delivering the consignment to the carrier of the buyer's preference, without charging any additional fees. There is a slight difference between FCA and FOB. FCA is suitable for multimodal transportation, whereas FOB refers to maritime transport. When cargo is shipped using FOB, the seller transfers the risk to the buyer at the delivery time. In FCA, the seller has to load the consignment onto the carrier arranged by the buyer. While using CFR, the seller pays the cost and freight of the shipping to the destination, but the risk is on the buyer's shoulders. It's important to note that there is a significant variation between CFR and FOB INCO terms. When cargo is delivered FOB, the seller transfers the risk to the buyer as soon as the package crosses the ship's dock. However, under CFR, the seller is also responsible for paying the expenses and freight until the cargo reaches its destination. The sole difference between CFR and CIF is insurance, which is a small but noticeable distinction. When the shipment arrives on the carrier, the seller transfers the risk to the buyer. However, the seller also makes arrangements for the primary carrier. The seller is also responsible for the purchase of insurance to protect the buyer's interests throughout the transportation of the cargo. While using CPT, the seller is responsible for the primary transportation to deliver the cargo to the agreed-upon location. On the other hand, the seller transfers the risk to the buyer upon delivery to the primary carrier. We highlighted earlier that arranging the primary mode of travel does not imply that the organizing party bears the risk. Even in this scenario, the risk transfers to the buyer. In CIP method, the seller delivers the products and transfers risk to the buyer upon delivery to the primary carrier. The seller organizes and pays for the primary carrier to deliver the shipment to the specified location. Additionally, the seller arranges for insurance on the buyer's behalf to cover the buyer's risk. The primary distinction between CPT and CIP is that the seller is also responsible for insurance. In DAT method, the seller delivers the shipment and passes the risk to the buyer when the shipment is at the buyer's disposal on the terminal of the final destination. The seller is responsible for export duties, transportation, insurance, destination port costs, and product unloading. 
The primary distinction between DAT and DAP is that, the seller is responsible for final unloading the items under DAT. DAP denotes that the seller delivers, when the shipment arrives at the ultimate destination, ready for unloading from the method of transport. The seller will be liable for all associated risks and expenses with transporting the items to this location. With DAP, the seller is responsible for export duties, transportation charges, insurance, and destination port costs. The buyer is responsible for import duties and unloading the items. DDP is the absolute reverse of X works. It refers to transferring goods from the seller's premises to the buyer's premises. The seller is responsible for delivering the items to the buyer's premises. In DDP, the seller is responsible for all the duties, transportation, insurance, and bears the highest obligation and risk. At Customs Declarations, we help traders with a frictionless filing of their customs declarations. To learn more about our solution, please visit our website. Thank you.